Thank you for tuning in to Pasadena Public Library's video tutorial for this butterfly watercolor painting using watercolor pencils. In this video, we'll show you the step-by-step -step process. This activity will take you approximately 30 minutes to an hour. Before we start, these are the supplies you'll need. Watercolor pencils. We have black, green, yellow, dark blue. I'm sorry, purple and blue. A paintbrush, a pen or marker, and a pencil. You don't need these exact colors or exact supplies. You can use whatever colors you have on hand. A paper towel and a cup of water. And of course, watercolor paper. So let's move this aside and get started. So first things first, we're gonna lay down a basic sketch for our painting. To do this, we're gonna kind of work half and half at a time for our butterfly. I'm gonna start on this side, kind of make a line out and wrap it around to meet the first side. That's our first wing. Halfway through our wing, I'm gonna make a J shape down and connect from the end of our first wing down to the end of our bottom wing. Same thing on the other side. In line out, wrap it around to meet back in the middle, halfway through, a J shape down. And then I'm going to connect it to our first part of our wing. Now we'll draw the body. In the middle of our two wings, we'll make a nice long oval shape. On top of our oval shape, we'll make a little triangle, upside down triangle for the head. And on top of that, a little dome like a little hat. I'll let you see there. Okay. Now, if you've never used watercolor pencils before, there's a couple of ways that you can use them. First, which is coloring with them. Now, you don't want to color straight up and down with the pencils. You do want to kind of lay it down to the side. It'll give you more area to cover when you first start. So, for instance, we're going to take our blue, holding our pencil sideways. We're going to put a little patch of blue right there. Now, I'm going to be doing a very specific color pattern, but you are more than welcome to spread around the colors however you'd like. I'm also going to put some just down here. Moving on to my next color, I'll be using green. I'm going to do the same thing. Hold my pencil sideways. And put some green down on the edges of my butterfly. And it's okay if it looks a little weird now, if it looks a little messy. You're gonna wind up blending all the colors later and it'll look much better, I promise. Next color I'm gonna get is yellow. Put some nice bright yellow right in the middle of my colors. And on the edges of my bottom wing. There we go. Now I'll be showing you the magic of watercolor pencils and what actually makes them watercolory. So with my water and my brush, I'll be wetting my brush. And with the brush wet, you'll paint over your colors and the water will activate 
your watercolor pencil and turn it into paint. Same thing with this, I don't really do it up and down, kind of lay my brush flat and rub around the color. Just doing my blue for now. And if you have trouble with the colors not blending, just means your brush is a little bit too dry. Go ahead and dip it some more. And you'll see that the color will spread really nicely. I like to paint in little circles. I think it pushes around the color really nicely. Once I've done all my blue, I'm going to rinse out my brush and do the same thing to my green. Making little circles, blending in what I colored in until it looks more like paint. And it's okay if the colors blend a little bit. They're supposed to do that. All right, did all my green, rinsing out my brush. Now I'm gonna do the same for my yellow. Look how much brighter my yellow is getting now that I've wet it. All right. Now the second thing that you can do with watercolor pencils is use them like a little tube of paint. I'm gonna rinse my brush. I've grabbed my purple and I'll show you what I mean. You'll take your brush and you'll rub it gently over just the tip of your pencil. What that's doing is activating the color at the end of your pencil and it's gonna make it like you're loading it up with actual paint. Now, you probably don't wanna do this right over your paper. You should do it to the side because it can get a little messy, but I'm doing it here so that you can see. And as you see, the more and more I rub it, the water is turning purple. So now my paintbrush has purple all over it and I can put it down wherever I'd like. I'm gonna put some purple in these inner corners of my wings. Wet it a little bit more to spread around the color. Put some right here, around my blue. And blend it into each other. There you go. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with all my other colors so that I can make the little spots that I painted earlier a little more vibrant, a little darker. So I'm going to do the same thing with my blue until my brush gets nice and blue. Then I'm gonna put it down and make my blue parts I painted ex earlier extra vibrant. Don't forget to keep grabbing more water on your brush when you want to get more paint off of your pencil. There you go. Now I'm gonna rinse my brush again and do the same thing with my green. Rub the paintbrush on the green part of my pencil until the paintbrush turns green. And then paint that color down where I want it. I'm gonna put some extra green on the edges 
where I want it to be even brighter. And rinse out my brush and do the same thing with my yellow. Now, if you find that you've got way too much water on your paper, or you've got a splatter where you didn't want it, you can always use your paper towel to gently press on your painting, and it'll soak up some of that extra water. It's like your little eraser. Just like this. There you go. All right, once you put your kind of just colors down, don't worry, we're gonna make it butterfly shape now with our black pencil. So take your black pencil and we're gonna outline the lines that we drew earlier. So our wings. And for this, you can use it as a regular pencil. Don't have to hold it a special way. And I'm making my lines nice and dark and nice and thick. And I'm gonna work on the other one as well. I'm also going to outline the body. Now we're going to give our wings some detail. First things first, I'm going to start on this right side. And I'm going to draw a line out halfway through my wing. On the bottom wing, I'm going to draw a mini wing shape right in the middle of my wing. Down here at the bottom, I'm going to draw two spiky triangles and lines that are going to connect from this wing to the bottom. I'm going to draw one, two, three, four. Up on the upper part, I'm gonna draw a big oval at the end of my line, like I'm making a giant corn dog. I'm also gonna make three rectangles that connect from here, to the bottom of that top wing. One, two, three, and then a little triangle at the end. You don't have to copy these exact shapes. This is just kind of a cheating way to make butterfly patterns. You can always make some stripes, Make some little dots, whatever you'd like for your butterfly. For this bottom part, now I'm going to draw a line right down the middle. Cut that little mini wing in half. 
on the upper part. I'm going to draw a long jelly bean shape. Then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Line. Mini wing shape. Triangle, triangle. One, two, three, four stripes. My long horn dog. One rectangle, two rectangles. Three, tiny triangle, and then cut that shape in half, and my long jelly bean. There you go. Now I'm going to start coloring in some of the shapes that I made. So I'm going to color in this corn dog. And this is all using my black. I'm going to color in the jelly bean. Color in my rectangles. And my little triangle. I'm going to thicken this stick here. On this bottom half, Coloring in the bottom triangles. Thicken my lines a little bit. It's okay if it's messy. We're going to wind up blending this down later too. And I'm going to color in half of this shape down here, right along the line that I drew down the middle. There you go. You can also make this line a little thicker too. And then do the same thing on this side. There we go. Now we're gonna blend our black colors. So you're gonna pick up your brush again, wet it in your water, and trace along the lines that you made in black. It's gonna make the black extra dark and nice and smooth. Don't forget to keep wetting your brush so that you have plenty of water on your brush to push around the color. I'm also going to use blend in the big patches of black that I colored in. Don't forget to work on one side at a time so that this 
side has a chance to dry a little bit while you work on the other side. So I'm only coloring in and blending in the black patches on this right side right now. And now that I've blended this side, I'm going to let it dry while I work on this side. Don't forget to get all the little shapes that you colored in earlier. And it's okay if your black shapes get a little fuzzy when you paint over them, because butterfly designs are actually a little fuzzy when you look at them up close. There we go. Now, because both of our wings are a little bit wet and we want to give them the time to dry before we put more water on top of it, we're going to work on this little middle body part in the meantime. But first things first, rinse out my brush and I'm going to get my yellow. With my nice clean wet brush, I'm going to get a little bit of paint yellow paint from the pencil onto my paintbrush. Once I've got enough yellow paint, I'm just going to paint the bottom part of his tummy right there. While that's drying, you can either use your marker or you can use your black pencil. I'll use the black pen for now. And we're going to give our butterfly a little suit. So right here, right before the yellow ends, I'm going to draw a W shape. Not everything above the W shape, we're going to paint black. I think I'll switch back to my pencil for that. But you can also use your pen or a marker. And only covering the top part of my W. Don't you see the close? Now, if you colored with your marker, it'll be nice and dark. If you colored with your color watercolor pencil, you'll get your wet paintbrush and you'll blend all that black together to be nice and smooth. There you go. I'm gonna rinse out my brush. And now is when we're going to go back in and put any little bit of extra color that you'd like. So I'm going to get my purple. 
my clean brush. I'm going to get some purple on my brush. And I want to give a nice pop of purple right here in the corner of my butterfly's wing. I also want some more purple right here. Now I'm going to get some green. Make sure my brush gets nice and green. And I'm going to add some green stripes next to my black stripes. Right here, right there. Need a little bit more. Right there, and right there. And same thing with the other side. Green stripes next to my black stripes. Looks like this. I'm also going to add more green just to my edge right here. Now I'm going to put that down because the tummy should be dry by now. So we can go back with our marker. And if it isn't dry, you can always get your paper towel. Don't forget, press it a little bit. It will help soak up some of that extra water. And with my pen, I'm going to give his bottom tummy some nice little stripes. While I have my pen, I'm also going to give him some antenna. Now you can stop there if you'd like, and you have a beautifully colored in butterfly with really nice pattern on it. But if you really want to make your butterfly pop, we're going to do one more trick with our black pencil. So you're going to wet your brush, coloring your pencil, but this time you don't want the water to get black black. You want it to just kind of be kind of grayish black. And to test it, you can put it on the back of your hand. It should still be kind of see-through. It shouldn't be too dark. If it looks like that, load it up onto your brush and we're going to make some shadows on our butterfly. So right on the edge of it, on the white part of the paper, I'm going to make a shadow here. I'm going to do this one more time on the back of my hand. Make a shadow here. One more time. Back of my hand. Make a shadow on this edge of this thing on the top. Still have some water here so I can use that and put it on this edge. With the last little bit, I'm going to put it around the bottom of its stomach. And there you go. That's my lovely butterfly. And now you have one too. And that's all you really need to do for this painting. So if you like this tutorial and you wanna see more like this, you can check out our YouTube page at Pasadena Library and our library blogs at pasadena-library.net. Thank you for joining us.